This is the specimen pail that I modeled the other day. And I'm going to do a quick texturing in Substance Painter. I've already baked the mesh maps. And you can see that I've got some materials here that I brought in from Blender. All right, so let's just go ahead and do some of these real quick. Uh, I'm going to switch over to this and I'm going to choose metal, iron rough. We'll bring that in and I'll just, it, it already comes in with a bit of dirt, but we'll put a little bit of dirt on. A fill layer of black mask and we'll make this like dark, just like that. It's not going to be very visible, so I'm not going to mess around with it too much. Okay, come over here, we'll add a generator and we'll try just dirt. And that's okay, it's just something on there. Let's look at the handle. I'm gonna do a smart material. I'm gonna search for maybe rubber and this plastic armor glossy will be just fine on there. That's it for that. All right, and now we come over to the pail. And for that one, I'm gonna search for plastic. I'm gonna use this plastic mat. And let's come in here and let's change the color down to something that's a little bit more like that. I might change the color later on, but I'm gonna go for that for the moment. Okay, so add a fill layer and a black mask. We'll do some dirt on this. I'll make it like a dark brown. Let's add a generator and we'll just try dirt. Mm -hmm and I'll bring down the dirt level. So there's just a little bit of dirt on there. So let's do that. Now, let's add, let's add a decal on here, a stencil, whatever. I'm gonna do it as an alpha, sort of a biohazard one. So let's come up here to alphas and import and just get something from the internet. Uh, I've already got it. So come in here to labels and decals. Uh, we're gonna choose this one. This okay. Now notice that this is black as opposed to white, which you often would use for for an alpha. But I'm going to bring this in as an alpha to the current project. So there it is. It's a little bit hard to see, but there it is. I'm gonna create a paint layer, and I'm going to choose just color. All right, I'm going to drag that into the base color, scale it up, and if it looks a little blurry, come over to your brushes and choose a basic hard brush. So, I don't know, I'll just put that on there. So there it is, and if I bring the handle down, it'll cover it a bit, look kind of cool. Okay, so there's that. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, I want this broken up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a black mask and a generator, now it's gone. Let's come over to the generator and search for grunge. And just try one of these grunges. If I click this one, you can see it coming through. Drag the balance up. And we can sort of break it now. I may not like that particular one, so. You can just try different ones, anything. Just try this one. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Maybe that one. Just a little bit of of damage to there. Okay. So that's going good. We're almost done. The last thing I'd like to do here is um a little bit of roughness. So I'm going to add a fill. I'm going to add a black mask. Over here, I'm going to alt click on roughness. I just want roughness and I want this control here. I'm going to add a generator. And I'm going to try another one of these grunges. A little bit hard to see this, so we're gonna zoom right in and, and move the light around. Let's see if we see any effect. You see, you see a very slight effect there. I'm gonna come back to the main layer and I'm gonna pull this up around. See, it's disappeared. There, you see that? Slide it all the way down. 
So let's put it there for the moment. Come back here to this grunge and just try a few different grunges here. And then come back to the main one. Slide it around, it's very subtle. All right, if you come over here on roughness, you can see, so maybe we'll put it there for the moment. All right, we'll come back up to this and just play around with this. It just, it'll just break up the, the shininess a little bit. There we go. All right, and that is essentially it for what I wanted to do. And then you can just tweak it uh, as you as you as you like. I do something like that. All right, so I'll take that and put that into the scene. Let's just have a look at it larger and turn on uh, anti-aliasing. Okay, you could try a different. Uh, Try different lighting. All right, anyhow, that is my specimen pail.